Hill, Yvette Rose here, and I am Holistic Health Coach. This is my first shot at doing a vlog on my own, um, thanks to Lux Media. This is exciting. I've always uh, wanted to find a platform that allowed me to sort of share the wisdom that I've been gaining in my day to day as I tap more and more into um, plant medicine and universal energy. So I uh, want to share a little bit about what you can expect if you are planning on listening to this uh, vlog, I believe is what it's called. Um, what you can expect are all sorts of things that have to do with science and spirituality. The reason why I named it Power Your Mind, Strengthen Your Body is because of my own personal journey in wellness and fitness. For instance, I use plant medicine because I get really anxious when I am public speaking. And even though there isn't an audience here, the expectation is that there will be an audience. And so it just helps to calm my nerves. But back to power your mind, strengthen your body. The podcast is meant to help understand the how spirituality and science has now collided and we agree that both create this experience for us in this world. And so when I speak of strengthening your body from my personal experience, it's because before I got into spirituality, before I got into wellness, I had a desire to get physically stronger. I had just given birth to my first son that I gained over 46 pounds with, and I'm only five feet tall. And so um, to gain that much weight in a pregnancy was a lot. And also the, the labor um, was a lot on my physical body. And and so I started to do workouts and build my strength. I started to do yoga to get more flexible. And so what I started realizing was that as I tapped into making my body stronger and seeing myself overcome obstacles like holding a one minute plank or doing 25 push ups, then I was able to see how powerful my mind was because ultimately, when you're pushing your body past what you believe is its physical ability, you are tapping into the strength of your mind. And so that combination of powering your mind and strengthening your body, to me felt like the integration of science and spirituality. And when I, three years into my physical um, journey, my physical strengthening journey, I started tapping more and more into what was going on in my mind. And I started using practices like yoga, practices like journaling, learning about crystals, which was introduced to me by my oldest son, learning how to use a pendulum, learning how to use sage. So I was listening to all of these things, not quite believing in them yet, just feeling into the vibration of each of them, understanding the history and where they came into play. And then as life does, it humbled me. There were many situations that I saw myself on my knees and questioning what was my soul's contract? What was I here to do? And so then I started getting more and more into the mind work and what were things that I can do to make that connection between source and me stronger, understanding more and more how to tap into those energetic guides that are around me, that intuition, that gut intuition. And that's when I started looking into nutrition and understanding the effects that what we put into our body matters on the way we show up in the world. And so to name the show, Power Your Mind and Strengthen Your Body felt like the right tagline. So today 
I introduce the show in the hopes that I can help those understand a little bit more how important it is to use both your body and your mind so that you can create the life that you desire. I learned something the other day. I realized that it had taken me a really long time, probably two decades, to be able to articulate exactly that, to be able to share that spirituality and science doesn't have to be two separate topics, that it is com combined. And that when you start to understand both methods, when you understand the history, and when you understand the research, and you're able to take that and bring it into the life that you have, you are able to make amazing shifts and changes that are hopefully in the direction of the life that you desire. And when you see that it isn't going in that direction, that's the important part of stepping into your meditation practice, into your mind and understanding where have your thoughts been aligning? Are you still doing the same things that you did yesterday when those actions didn't help you to create a better experience? Are you stuck on past thoughts, on past behaviors? So those are the important things when you're looking at spirituality. But then when you're looking at strength, you can, you can definitely go on your day-to-day -day life without doing physical exercise. But it is scientifically proven that if you don't move the body, your bones will deteriorate. You'll get more aches and pains. Less blood will circulate. Most recent studies showed that people who were showing signs of obesity were also showing signs of lower brain activity, which can lead to Alzheimer's, dementia. So it's important to move that body to get your body strong. And so on this podcast, you'll be hearing either myself or a guest come on to talk about exercise, to talk about the science behind it, to talk about some some five methods to getting a flatter abs or stronger arms. But also I'll be sharing my journey into spirituality and understanding how all of these tools that showed up in my life over 20 years ago, all of these tools were there for us to use. in combination with science to create the life we desire. And so when I um, was on that journey of getting my body physically stronger and learning that my mind was getting more powerful, then I started to work with clients and I started to help clients to see that they had the ability to shift their lives as well, if they desired. Not everyone is looking to elevate their life and never mistake that. It is beautiful when you open your eyes and you're living life awake and you want everyone you love to see that too. But it's important to meet people where they're at sometimes and only ask them or share with them if you feel like they need to know or that they're asking you for the information. I think that's a really big lesson that I've learned recently when I started losing a lot of people in my life. The more awake I became, the more I thought everyone else should know, because it's like you found a secret sauce you want to share. But then you realize it's not your place unless, unless you've been invited. Sort of like the vampire, right? If you've been invited in, then you have permission. So being mindful to being invited into people's worlds and giving them your opinion on how they should or should not live their lives. But back into me working with clients to help introduce them 
to this whole idea of strengthening their body. It started at Equinox, did that for a few years, yoga instructor, personal trainer, specializing in pre and postnatal. Then I became a nutrition coach, Institute for Integrative Nutrition, along with um, Equinox's lifestyle certification. Those are two really intense nutrition programs outside of a bunch of workshops that I've done. That's where my credentials came in. That's where my education came in. And I learned a lot about the science behind the way the body and the mind works, a lot about the gut. And the gut was of an interest to me when I gave birth to my firstborn. He was born with developmental issues. Um, and a lot of skin problems and allergies, inflammation. And so we had to be mindful about the way we showed up in the world with him. Um, and he introduced me to this whole gut mind because ultimately he was the outcome of my mother's gut, my gut into his. And the reason why my mom is part of that, your mom, is because her microbiota was affecting you when you were in her body. And while you were in her body, your body was making your eggs. And so therefore, her microbiota that affected you while you were creating the eggs then gets integrated into those eggs. What we've learned is that we are 50 to 55% bacteria. And so when you think about that, you understand the importance of the microbiota, you understand that it affects the way you feel, the way you look, the way you show up in the world. And so my mom passes down to me. I now have this baby that I wasn't aware I was going to have. And he's born with all of these issues. So as I started to learn that the gut microbiota is developed while the child is in vitro, I then realized that I needed to change all of our lifestyles and I needed to catch up, help his body catch up because his microbiota, his gut bacteria was definitely full of inflammation because of the lifestyle that I had. And so I learned about probiotics. I learned about eating fermented foods. I learned the importance of exercise, of moving, of shifting energy inside of the gut. I learned about healing, limiting belief systems. I learned about the chakra system. I learned the connection between the chakra systems, the meridians, the organs, the muscles, and how it affects the way we show up in the world. And so as I learned all of that, I was able to help my son heal from a lot of his illnesses. He had a lot of physical and mental um, developmental issues. And so we did go through that journey together. And so as I felt um, more and more confident in the knowledge that I had received, I wanted to share more and more. And so... What I learned is that I wasn't the only one who had all of these experiences, anxiety, depression, panic attacks, poor sleeping patterns, slight addictive behaviors. And so I learned about the importance of food when it came down to affecting the way you feel, the way you look. And I started wanting to share with my clients the way I planned out my meals that help benefit my son and myself. And then as I started to do that, my company grew and I grew into an e-commerce prep food delivery company. Did that for seven years. It was national. And then the situation shows its face. My best friend has glioblastoma. She's my childhood best friend. And she had just learned that she had glioblastoma when her baby was six months. So because of that, 
she had a strong desire to live. What we later learned was that the tumors grew due to the pregnancy and her hormones and how active estrogen became in her body, overdominant, took over her hormonal system. It caused her tumors to get bigger. And as the tumors got bigger, her glioblastoma got worse. And by the time her daughter was two, she had left this human experience. And when she left, my company was failing. I had been spending a lot of time helping to take care of her. And my company was starting to fail. And I was starting to feel inadequate. My younger, my oldest son had just been diagnosed with alopecia and was struggling in high school. So I had these challenges that felt really heavy and I decided to close my company overnight and I decided to start to take care of me. At this point, I had looked in the mirror, I was barely 90 pounds and I looked 70 years old. And so it took me a few years. I would say five total, but three really dark years after I closed my company to really truly start to understand the healing that needed to happen. At this point, I had already integrated physical exercise. I had already integrated a lot of meditation work, yoga. So I knew a lot of the nutrition that needed to happen, but it wasn't doing what it needed to do for me because there were still some old belief systems, some stuck energy stored that needed to find its way out. And that's where the three dark years come in. Because it's easy to get a program on what you should eat. It can even get easier to taking a cold shower or sitting in meditation, making those smoothies in the morning and not putting anything in your belly after nine o'clock at night, being mindful of all of those things. But if you're still asleep, if you're still not noticing what is happening inside, what are the things that you need to heal from? What has been blocking you? What are the energetics in the chakra system that are off balance? That's when the change starts to happen quicker. So I'd say for about three years, I went into that dark space. And I decided that it was time to come out after I did the therapies, the work, the losing of friends, the, the painful relationships, the painful memories, the, all of that did the work. Um, I then decided to come back to what I felt was my soul's purpose, which was to put products out there that would help women in particular get healthier in their bodies and their mind, inspired by my best friend and my grandma and my son. My grandma died of cervical ovarian cancer. She was about 66 years old. My son, with all his developmental issues and skin issues. And then my best friend with the glioblastoma. All of those a representation of poor gut health. And I wanted to be able to help clients to understand that. And that's what I felt my goal, my soul's mission is, my soul's contract is to help women understand the connection between the gut and the mind, but making it accessible, making it structured, making it simple. And that was the hard part, was to make it simple so that they would be able to remember that this was available to them and trust that it had everything they needed to help them heal their gut. And so as I close my podcast, the introduction to Jewel Fast Jewel Goddess, it's a product, it's a company, it's a brand that offers products to help heal the gut. So for instance, I made some herbal teas that have the time of day recommended to consume it 
so that you can give your mind the experience that it needs in order to get your body to do what you need it to do. So we have all of these little products with faces on them that hopefully help you to be more connected to the food that you're eating. I made sure everything was natural, clean as possible, um, offering ingredients that were beneficial to the gut, fighting inflammation, helping bring on healthy hormonal function, helping with anxiety and depression, with energy and melatonin and sleeping and all of the fun stuff. So as I close, this podcast or broadcast will be Jewel Goddess, Power Your Mind, Strengthen Your Body. We'll be talking all things spirituality and science to help you manifest the life that you desire. Because ultimately, it is up to you. You do have the power. So the uh, other thing I forgot to mention is that the Jewel Goddess meal planning system comes with times of day to consume types of food that helps you create an experience like energy or focus or relaxation. I'd also like to do a tarot card before we go. So this is your reading for today. The card fell out of the deck and I feel like when they fall out of the deck, they fall out with intention, with purpose. And so this is your goddess message for the week. I love these goddess cards. They're my favorite. Um, they are the best. There you go by Colette Baron reed Really fun, simple to understand. She's awesome like that. Your empowerment message, white buffalo calf woman. Now is the time to view your world through a lens of peace, harmony, and reconciliation. The domain of the Lakota goddess, white buffalo calf woman. It's time to leave the right, wrong, good, bad, zero sum game world behind and and enter the space where you can find the sacred ground of sharing without negotiating from a desire that anyone, everyone benefits. You'll be so glad you did. Take a humble yet grounded approach to your life right now. Only goodwill will come of it. The goddess, white buffalo calf woman supports this way of being in the world. Your alignment message Unconscious choices and behaviors may be causing a distortion in your world. Difficult feelings are part of the journey of self-discovery. You, you may have been conditioned to suppress what makes you uncomfortable in order to survive. You might have found yourself in a temporary awkward place with someone and don't know what your next step should be. White Buffalo Calf Woman offers you this alignment task. Make the discomfort, awkwardness, and uncomfortable sacred. Think of what would happen if you made what you considered a flaw, loss, or a failure, a beautiful, integral part of the art of your life. Every breath you take is sacred. Every mistake you make is a gift. Every time you learn from a relationship, is blessed. Bless all parts of you and your life, for you are sacred, and white buffalo calf woman wants you to be at peace. So that's your alignment message for the week. Enjoy. Thank you for joining. And most important for you to remember, this goddess got you. Glutathione is a big word. It's the body's own master antioxidant. 
It's a scavenger for free radical, bacteria, and viruses. There are no products in the market with the ingredient NASET. NASET increases the production of glutathione that's in our body already to strengthen and enhance our immune system, elevate sense of well-being, support muscle strength and endurance, cognitive function, and liver support. It helps with increased energy and blood sugar regulation. Get your bottle of GSH Plus from www.salvationnutra.com.